Hello, 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 hello. Beginning this meditation last night, I had no idea what I was going to do. And then I'm walking the dog this morning. And the theme of ancestors, which we started last week, um, when we cleared out the DNA, if you haven't done that meditation, you might want to do that for this one, because this is going to back on top of that one. So that this has been kind of a theme that we're working on the last couple of weeks that we're going to continue. And the cards that I drew, um, Lady Gaia, which is, she is the angel that's holding the earth, holding the space for us to raise our vibration to the fifth dimension, which is love and letting go of fear, letting go of suffering, letting go of all of the violence and just embracing a loving world. And so she's going, she's appeared to help us work on this today in the meditation. And um, also, and this is from the Diana Cooper deck. If you want to find out more about the Ascension process, she's a really good one to look up. She has a lot of YouTube videos. And then I drew from the Animal Spirit Oracle deck, Colette Baron reed And what came up was the eagle. So that kind of makes sense to me that we're, we've got the, the grounding, grounding us on earth, but also looking above and um, allowing the bigger picture of things to emerge. So that's what we're going to work on. I kind of have an idea of how to do it, but we'll see where it goes. So let's start like we always do. Just becoming aware of the motion of your breath. Letting the pranic energy, the energy of spirit, ride your breath into your body, filling it up, and letting go, and beginning again. So the breath just mocks every cycle and life. We breathe into our body and then we let go just like we live in our bodies and then we let go. So just affirming this process by following and focusing on your breath, allowing spirit to enter, embodying spirit and then letting go. Connecting ourselves to the earth first by just being aware of what we are grounded in, in your seat, your sit bones, your legs, what is touching, what is your skin touching, are your feet on the ground, maybe pick up your toes if you don't have shoes on and spread your toes. Just become very aware of your connection to gravity to this grounding sensation that we have as beings on this earth. And then going a little bit deeper, down three feet below your feet or your sit bones into your earth star chakra, which helps to ground us, to keep us the groundingness as in as light beings so that we don't blow our circuits. And then Lady Gaia calls us down into the center of the earth. Bringing the energy down from your sit bones, from your earth star chakra into the center of the earth. 
And see if you can sense a grounding cord or an energetic connection to that still place, the place that the earth revolves around that axis. And while you're there, say hello to Lady Gaia. You may get a sense of green being. You may just get a sense of the energetic quality of her, which is true for any angel. It's yes, they do break off and go into beings for per se. They go into form so that we can relate more to them. But it's more about the energetic quality that is carried and that they embody. So getting a sense of your connection to all of life on earth through Lady Gaia. So Lady Gaia herself invited you to incarnate during this time of Earth Ascension. So you agree to incarnate now. But there are great opportunities testing you for accelerated ascension. So think about why you're connected to Lady Gaia. What is a challenge right now that you are currently presented with that seems to keep coming up in your life? Knowing that it is an earthbound challenge, a test that you have here on earth an opportunity, let's use the word opportunity instead of test, an opportunity to rise above it, which is where the eagle is going to come in. So bringing your attention up now with this challenge, like you're going to carry it, the, the eagle's going to carry you on his wings. You're going to rise above it, above the surface of the earth, on this eagle's wings and then looking down you're safe just getting a higher perspective of this challenge when you're not earthbound when you're on a being birds are all already embodying the fifth dimension that's why they fly they're not bound to any earth lessons they can fly above them all and they sing and bring us joy to remind us that we too can rise above it. So see if you can get a sense of seeing this challenge playing itself out. Maybe it's something that has played itself out over and over and over again. Is it a challenge that is uniquely yours in this incarnation? Or can you get a sense that it's a challenge that has been played out through generations of your bloodline? And just taking a look at how perhaps your bloodline has accelerated this drama, this challenge, but not attached to it, still up on this eagle. So the, the eagle is reminding you that you're overcoming this and that the spirit has your back. So what if spirit had your back, and it does, 
spirit of the eagle, the spirit of Lady Gaia, the spirit of the universe, creator, however you want to view this spirit completely supporting you in letting go of this particular drama. And I'm seeing a circle of ancestors circling and flying around with you in the center on this eagle, also supporting you. And then one of these ancestors steps forward in the circle. You're still looking at it with this ancestor. You may know who it is. You may just sense it's someone from way far back. And just take a look or a feel. If you're not a seer, if you don't see things, get a feeling for this particular ancestor that has stepped forward. And they're going to help you, this ancestor, along with the spirit of the eagle and the spirit of the universe is going to touch your third eye and your crown chakra to help open help you relax the energy in these two chakras to help you open and see more clearly, even more clearly. And help open your connection to the message that this particular ancestor wants to give you. See if you can get a sense or a feeling, whatever you see, hear, or know opening this third eye to this third eye to third eye from the ancestor. The top chakra is open so the universe can clarify and help you receive this message. And also remembering that we're still connected to the center of the earth, so we're grounded to receive this message. Breathe it in. If you have any questions, you might ask, how can I complete this cycle? Help our generations of people backwards and forwards complete this cycle. So last week we opened and cleaned out the channel in the middle of the DNA strand that might carry this particular challenge or a different challenge. So we'll ask for our third eye, our eyes to be open to see on earth more clearly. What does this situation look like now that we look down upon it with the help of this ancestor, the help of the eagle, the help of universal insight. Just let the drama fall off of this situation and see the light growing. All judgments, anything that needs to be forgiven within yourself or another What's at the core of this situation? If you were looking at it through the fifth dimensional insight, the light, the love, the word connection is coming up for me. Is it about letting go of all this stuff so that you can have a greater connection from your core to these people, to this situation. I'm 
and get that feeling connecting from the heart, seeing from the enlightened place of the third eye of a wide open crown chakra. Any more questions if you want to know why this originated in your bloodline, ask this ancestor. Just knowing anything you ask is going to help bring closure. So breathing in now that feeling of closing. And this ancestor is going to walk away. We're going to thank them. They're going to walk through a door. And there's this really bright light behind this door and they're going to close this door now. And all the ancestors, well, let's open it back up and let all the ancestors go through this door. And the last one that circled us will close it. And the eagle will fly around it, around this door and let this door disappear and just become light, just like this situation. And then the eagle is going to fly down and touch the earth and let you put your feet back down on the earth back in the middle of this circle. And now it's just a circle of light, just like you were, had this circle of ancestors. Now you have this circle of light around you. In the middle of this situation, you're representing the core connection, the heart of it. So just stand in the middle of this light and see if you get any colors, any feelings, any thoughts that come up as you're standing in this circle. And Lady Gaia is going to wrap this green color around this circle. The green for healing, the green for connecting to all life on earth. Breathe in this green color. Let it touch every cell in your body. So that you start growing these new vines or flowers or what is the new growth? Like you are becoming a lady, Gaia. How does this feel? How does it look? What grows around you, in you? Breathe in the nourishment that these, this new growth needs. The universe, the sun above, representing the light, the water, we were talking a lot about water before we turned on the recording in this group. So let this water be the nourishment to help grow all this green. Also talking about how green things are. Just know that when you put your feet on the grass, on the earth, notice all this green, your continuing to connect with Lady Gaia throughout your day. She's going to let you continue to walk in this healing, in this he healing light. It embraces you. Spirit, remember, Spirit's got your back. That's going to be your affirmation for the day. Spirit's got your back. If you ever feel like you don't feel that, 
like it doesn't feel like spirit has your back, then just look up into the sky and see that eagle. And open to that truth. Spirit has got my back. Breathe in that truth. Bring it into your room where you are right now, into your body, into your home, into your yard and beyond. How big can you let this green bubble that may go through the around the entire world? Spirit has got my back in every situation I walk into. When you're ready, allowing your eyes to open so you can see the evidence around you. Lady Gaia, the spirit having your back. Touch your heart with your thumbs and reach your fingers out into your world from your heart. Breathing in the spirit of Lady Gaia, the spirit of the eagle. And exhaling it into your world here. Mm, thanks for being here. Namaste. Mm.